I got one of these laser cut kits for the holidays uh, as a Christmas or as a Christmas gift, a holiday gift, um, and decided to try out some high speed video editing. So I assembled all the gears uh, the other day, and now this is putting all the gears together uh, at high speed. Um, as you can see, I have a file because uh, the laser cut parts still have the one um, flashing on them that I file out. And of course, the hard part about getting all the gears fit in place is to make sure they all keep spinning every time you uh, add a new one in. So a few times you see me stop after inserting a gear um, because I have to make sure and get it meshed and get the other axles that may have popped out back in place. Uh, as I put the spring on here, I tried putting it on one way and then realized it needed to get hooked into its hook location and then wrapped on the spindle to put in there. Um, and then after I get the last of keep checking to make sure everything keeps spinning uh, and I do have a bit of glue for some of those spacers that snap fit but don't stay put um, making sure that those have uh, those spacers are going to stay together uh, so I just put a dab of glue on them sometimes but these kits are really cool um, and they certainly are a lot easier to do than the old die cut um, stamped like dinosaur ones that were cut out with a big press. Uh, the laser cut is pretty neat. And um, after I get the last few pieces in here and got the uh, pendulum in place, um, I discovered that the pendulum was hitting. That's why it runs okay for a bit and then stops in this clip. Uh, and later I got it set up so that it seems to be uh, turning okay. Here I'm uh, waxing the gears on the clock to lubricate them. Uh, I'm using mustache wax because it's soft. It's going to work its way in there and uh, lubricate the teeth of the gears. And you can see me use a hobby knife to scrape the extra wax up as it uh, works its way out from between the gears. 